As violent protests break out in Ferguson, it is hard to imagine a place where you can find peace and quiet. KBC 9's Eli, Ferguson, uh, Eli Rosenberg found just the place in the middle of all the chaos. He joins us now with that story. Eli. Yeah, a real interesting story here. So we've been showing you all this destruction, including right here, which is used to be a gas station. And every place we've shown you has a story. In this case, this story here, this owner wanted to open weeks ago, but delayed it because he was afraid of what might happen with that grand jury announcement. Finally, last week, he tells me he had no choice, and so he opened. This happened on Monday night. Now, one of the things I'm looking for tonight is what role the National Guard will have. We've seen it increase every single night, including last night outside the Ferguson Police Headquarters, where we saw them actually going into the crowd and arresting people. People here in Ferguson we talked to today really credit the National Guard last night for maintaining relative peace. And I say relative because we still had a couple dozen people arrested here. But last night was a far cry for the better than what we saw on Monday night. Now, back here live, I want to, I don't know if you've seen some of our video, but we noticed it and maybe the video yesterday of the cars being burnt out, and you'll see it right here as well, this BA right here. We think that stands for bomb and arson. There are investigators here on the scene, and late word today that the state is sending in resources as well to help investigate all of this. Now, you mentioned that feel-good story. We found it across town. A lot has happened here since August. A lot has happened since Monday. But one place has remained open every day except for one, and that is the public library. The director there really priding himself on providing an oasis, he says, for people to come in. And we found it to be a busy place tonight. The National Guard right over my shoulder here taking up a post at that car dealership. So as night falls, we'll be watching not only the protesters, but also the National Guard to see what role they have. That's the scene here in Ferguson. Eli Rosenberg, live. Back to you guys.